Hello, this time I'm going to make a particle that follows a character using the Niagara system. First, create a material to be used for the Niagara system's ribbon. To use the material for particles, set the blend mode to translucent and create a particle color node. Next, create a dynamic parameter node to set the particle's color brightness in a Niagara system. Multiply it with the particle color node to set the brightness of the particle color. Next, create a text scored node and a component mask node to create a gradient on the ribbon and check only R on the component mask node and connect it with the text scored node to create a horizontal gradient. Next, use the one minus node to reverse the direction of the gradient. Then, use the power node to make the gradient range a bit wider. Connect to the particle color node with a multiply node as shown in the video. Connect to opacity to set the transparency of the particle. Next, create a Niagara system. Since the particle will be created only once, set the loop behavior to once in the emitter state. Then remove the spawn rate, create a spawn burst instantaneous, and set the spawn count to one so only one particle comes out. Next, remove modules that affect particle movement, such as add velocity and gravity force. Next, after setting the shape location to the ring model, set the distribution to direct so that it is located inside the ring shape, not a random location of the ring shape. Since the current shape location is in particle spawn, it only spawns and does not move because it is not updated. So, move the shape location module to particle update. Since the particle needs to stay alive, Turn off kill particles when lifetime in particle state. And in scale color, set scale alpha to 1 after removing the curve so that the particles are no longer transparent. Next, go back to shape location and set the multiply float module as shown in the video to reduce the rotation speed of the particles. Next, go into transform and set rotation mode to yaw slash pitch slash roll. And break the vector with make vector to receive the values separately. As shown in the video, after setting the sign module in Mayan Z, set the values to set the particle to move in a random direction. In initialize particle, set the sprite size to always be a constant size. Set the particle color by setting the scale color to linear color. Copy the Viagra emitter and set the life cycle mode to system to create a ribbon. Remove spawn rate or burst from emitter update and create a sample particle from other emitter module in particle spawn. This is a module that spawns particles based on the location of particles created from a Niagara emitter. Therefore, as shown in the video, accurately write the Niagara emitter name so that ribbons are created from the specified particles. To create a ribbon, we remove the sprite renderer and create a ribbon renderer. And set the material to the ribbon material you created first. In particle state, check kill particles when live time again. Remove shape location from particle update. Ribbons are spawning randomly. In initialize particle, Set the lifetime mode to direct set so that they are created consistently. And set the width of the ribbon in ribbon width mode. Next, create add velocity in particle spawn. Set the velocity mode to from point to set the movement of the ribbon. Next, set scale color to linear color and set color from curve to create a gradient on the ribbon. And set the curve to scale alpha so that the ribbon gradually disappears.
Check local space on both Niagara emitters to fix the position of the Niagara system to the position of the character. Finally, create a dynamic material parameter in Particle Update to set the brightness of the ribbon. Next, find the character's blueprint and open it. And create the Niagara system component, and then set up the Niagara that you have created before. If you play in this state, it is a bit awkward. This is because Niagara also rotates when the character rotates. Back in the event graph, create an event tick node. And create a set world transform node and set values as shown in the video so that the Niagara effect receives only the position of the character without the rotation value for natural look. 